LGBTQ rights groups are calling for Oklahoma's top public school official to step down, saying his policies have fostered a culture of hate and bigotry. The push comes in the form of an open letter and on the heels of the death of a 16-year-old non-binary student. Posting a video to X acknowledging the death of Nex Benedict and accusing critics of political motivations. Benedict, a transgender high school student, died a day after reportedly being bullied. Here in Oklahoma, we had a tragedy where a young student lost her life. We have been praying for the family, for the school, um, for, the, for the city of Owasso ever since. And unconscionably, radical left-wing groups and the media have lied about the death of the student and have intentionally lied to push an agenda. An investigation into the circumstances surrounding Benedict's death is ongoing. It's only the latest incident to spark controversy around Walters. In January, he received backlash from activists and Democratic politicians for appointing libs of TikTok creator Shea Rachik to a library advisory committee. Walters said he chose Rachik because she exposes the radical left as they push a woke indoctrination of our kids. Rayshik's social media account is critical of Democratic positions and following the announcement vowed to get porn out of schools. Oklahoma's LGBTQ policies are also facing scrutiny. ABC News reports Republican Governor Kevin Stitt signed laws banning non-binary markers on IDs and transgender girls from participating in women's sports, as well as restrictions on gender-affirming care. Meanwhile, Walters is limiting access to books found to be inappropriate for students. In addition, the Oklahoman reports Walters called for the firing of an elementary school principal who performed as a drag queen outside of work. The principal later resigned. More than 350 LGBTQ organizations, activists, and celebrities reportedly want Walters removed, claiming his policies harm students. A day before their death, Benedict told police they poured water on three girls at their school, then said they blacked out after the girls beat them up on the bathroom floor. They came at me, they grabbed out of my hair. I grabbed one of them. Friends of Benedict told the New York Post the teen had been the victim of bullying because of their gender identity and accused school administrators of ignoring it. NBC News says police determined Benedict's death is not from physical trauma and await a toxicology report. A specific cause of death has not been released at this time. Some parents, students, and local advocates say the incident has left them concerned about the environment created in Oklahoma for transgender students. In response, Walters reportedly says he's focused on keeping students safe in school and wants every student to be protected.